In our last class, we learned how significant a keystone species is, be it an apex predator, or in this case, a lowly gopher tortoise, because uh, they regulate the composition of the environment, and without them... You pull the keystone out, and the structure collapses. Oh no, that's awful. That's um, terrible. And what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be creating a visual representation that celebrates this keystone species. And here we have an example from Kevin last year who created um, a graphic organizer for this jaguar. In addition to the different uh, uh, species that this jaguar influences, he also included a fact, and you are too, that um, makes sure to describe how important um, a bee is, in this case, and its role it plays in the environment, or a tiger shark. Now, uh, Adonla did a beautiful job. This is Stella Rook. However, it's a little bit difficult uh, to see her little blurb because there's dark text on a dark background. So we're going to want to make sure that we've got lots of contrast, as we have, in this case, um, by May, who celebrates the, the beaver. Well done. Here we've got a hummingbird. We've got an elephant. And if you're so inclined and you have the time in class, I would encourage you to include an image of yourself interacting with that species um, or create your own sort of structure um, highlighting your keystone species of choice in this case it'd be. So how exactly do we create this? Well the first thing that we're going to need to do is a little bit of research. We're going to have to identify the uh, species that we're going to do. In this case I'm going to use the otter. Further what we need to do is download the uh, We've got to download that template, and when we find this template, you're going to click the little download icon in Google Classroom, and then when you double click it, it's going to automatically open it in Photoshop, and you're going to see the layers palette, you're going to see um, lots of room for growth and opportunity. So we found our species, in this case it's going to be the otter, here's what you're going to do. For each image that you're going to be sort of importing into Photoshop, you're going to right click, you're going to left click copy image and then you're going to return to Photoshop you're going to select and this is important file new and then you're just going to press enter or create and what happens is it's making a space just for the image you're going to press command V to paste and so now I see that in Photoshop we've got two different um, tabs right two different um, images in here we're going to return to uh, Google Chrome I know that sea, uh, sea otters eat urchins and I'm going to right click this image. I'm going to left click copy image. I'm going to return to Photoshop. Once again, file new. We're going to press enter or create. And it created a space for the sea urchin. Beautiful. And then we're going to return to um, Google Chrome one last time. We're going to grab some kelp. And so uh, sea otters, they eat the urchins. And if they didn't, if they were removed from the species, then the urchins would eat up all this kelp um, and then it would just be detrimental to the whole environment so what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna use something called a magnetic lasso I'm gonna return to uh, this sea otter image and the third tool down I can see that we've got a number of options including um, the lasso tool the polygonal lasso but we're gonna right click the magnetic lasso and you're gonna ask a buddy if you're unable to find it and what I'm doing right now is I'm left clicking and I'm just dragging along the edge of this otter and the way this tool works is it makes selections along uh, high contrast um, objects so I can see that there's some contrast between the otter and right now this rock along with the water in the backdrop and I'm gonna sort of return to this original bounding box that I placed I'm gonna left click and then we've got the selection and what I'm gonna do is if you press command plus we can zoom in a little bit and I'm going to add to this selection. Great. Beautiful. So now we created a selection. I can see a little ants running along the edge of this uh, otter. We're going to press Command C to copy. We're going to press Command V to paste. And we're going to pop this uh, image right here. We're going to press Command T to change the size of the layer. I'm going to hold Shift. I'm going to increase the size. I'm going to grab the text tool. And I'm going to label this uh, species sea otter and if you'd like to find a fun font you can certainly do that and uh, I like this one I'm gonna increase the size you guys are gonna adjust accordingly and uh, great we're off to 
a tremendous start. So we know that we um, already got the kelp. We already got the sea urchin. I'm going to return to Photoshop. And uh, here's how this works. We're going to use the magnetic lasso one more time. And while you can just run the uh, selection tool along the edge of your object, if you want to left click and put down what we're going to refer to as bounding boxes, um, that works as well. And in fact, with an image like this, you might have to do that quite a bit. And for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to go along pretty quickly along the edge. You guys are going to do a much better job. Um, you're going to have something far more precise. I'm going to return to our template. I'm going to press Command V. And this looks great. I'm going to press Command T to now shrink down this image. This looks great. And can't forget to label this. Right? People need to know. Sea urchin. Beautiful. All right, so you're gonna need to include some text as I mentioned earlier. Maybe you wanna do that on the left side. Finally, we gotta include a background. We're gonna include the habitat of our keystone species. And I found one right here. Here, here we go. I'm going to uh, simply right click once again, copy image. In this case, instead of going to file new, uh, what we're gonna do is simply paste it right on into this blank itself. This is a low res image, this is a small image. So I'm gonna press Command T and I would encourage you guys to find high res images. Uh, but for the time being, we're gonna include this right here. And that looks great, right? Except it's covering over uh, this keystone species structure, all the species that we just popped in. But if we drag it beneath all these layers in the layers palette, uh, then it can fit quite nicely. So we're gonna shift this around. Um, I would, again, I would encourage you to include photos of yourselves, a blurb, some facts, write your name, and have fun. Good luck.